If you're passing by Edwards Florist in downtown Northbrook or riding the train, you may notice two men with paintbrushes in their hands. Those two Northbrook residents happen to share more than a love and passion for the arts. They also share the same last name. Terry Luck, longtime artist and resident of Northbrook, attended Glenbrook North High School, and so did his six children, one of them being Jerry Luck, who is his right-hand man. Having this as a father and son project is almost like a dream come true. I, I love Northbrook, obviously living here forever, and to have a, a piece, a public art piece, that will last for years, it, it means a lot to me, it definitely does. The father-son duo started painting side by side at a young age, but never on this scale before. So when the Northbrook Board of Trustees commissioned a mural for the downtown area and the Lux were asked to do the work, it was an opportunity they both could not refuse. I wanted to come up with something that everybody would love. And one thing that I love about Northbrook are the four seasons. So that became the theme of the uh, mural here with some birds and other wildlife as well. I've always painted, I've always drawn. I've done large scale artwork, but not an outdoor mural before. So having a son who's had that experience is a huge help. Jerry Luck, who painted a mural at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, brought his expertise back to Northbrook and even included some elements of Chicago street art. Stylistically, I thought it was important to actually kind of reference some different artists from Chicago street art. It's a very vibrant scene there, very kind of cartoony based. There's like J.C. Rivera, Bird Milk, Jeff Pock. Those are just like three artists. That aesthetic kind of dominates the scene there. and. I really kind of wanted to capture a little bit of that while staying in the subject matter. So kind of just being the bridge, you know, between the Chicago street art scene and then bringing it to the suburbs of Northbrook. So the four seasons are represented not only with the, the trees and the flowers, but also with the birds. We're going to start with the fall season with a red-tailed hawk, and then the winter season with the cardinal, and then spring we always think of with robins, right? That's always the first sign of spring. And then up at top, hummingbird, the red-throated hummingbird. For summer, they all have a red feature to them, so it's kind of a connection. And then the centerpiece, we wanted an area for people that want to take pictures. And we have a giant zinnia, which is the official flower of Northbrook. I didn't even know we had one, but I found out. The duo was able to showcase both their abilities by merging their talents through this mural and they hope that Northbrook residents and visitors are able to enjoy it as well. I don't think everybody seeks out art or thinks about it very often. Um, so just being able to put it in front of people's faces, you know, even subconsciously, if they just see it when they're passing, they start to think about it. I want people to see Northbrook as a vibrant, art-loving community, really. And I want, when people come by, they want to, you know, next time they come by, this is a place they want to visit. If you happen to be walking through or visiting downtown Northbrook, take a peek or a pic of this new mural made by our very own Northbrook residents.